Hello, 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 good people. Hello, good people. I am Dr. Holly Kelly, and this is Dr. Kelly's Perspective for Friday, November 9th. And this is birthday celebration time for the U.S. Marine Corps. Our birthday, our 243rd birthday is actually tomorrow, but we have already begun celebrating. So happy birthday, Devil Dogs, to everyone who's out there. Hey, Miss Mary, happy birthday, Mary and Alicia. Thank you for joining me on both platforms, Nikki to Latin too. Thank you for joining me. Um, I've entitled this one, Love Wins. And this is what, this is what I am seeing over and over again. We have to recognize that there is more going on than what we see. There's more going on than what we can hear and feel and taste and touch in our physical presence. And, and whether or not we believe is like a moot point. If you just so happen to not believe in gravity, that's not going to stop gravity from from um, impacting your life if you decide to go up on the top of a 15-story building and walk off. Simply because, well, I don't believe in gravity and I don't understand it, I don't agree with it, I just simply, okay, gravity is gonna impact your life. So believe it or not, hello Deepak, um, it, it is alive and well and operating and you have to succumb to it. And there is, there is something happening uh, globally, but I'll speak for America, um, here that there is, with every mass shooting, with every piece of hateful rhetoric, with every piece of revenge and evil happening, we cannot beat that using that same methodology and come out clean. Now, you punch me, I punch you back, we both end up with a bloody nose. I may feel good about that, but I don't come out of that clean. I don't come out of that hole. I don't come out of that better. There, it, it just won't happen. And so um, all of that, all of that nastiness and ugliness and yuckiness sometimes is designed to... Um, get us in line with that. We cannot beat some at their own game without destroying ourselves. I heard this um, from a pastor last week or so, and it so resonated with me to the point where I am consciously thinking about it. He said, um, when ugly comes at you, paraphrasing, when it comes at you, you need to recognize that you cannot out ugly, ugly. You cannot out violence, violence. You cannot out evil, evil. Something has to triumph over that and it will not be the same, the same methodology. You cannot out bitter bitterness without destroying yourself. You cannot out nasty, nasty without becoming what you are fighting against. And so love has to be more powerful. It is. It is. It's not always easy. It's definitely not always convenient. It sometimes leaves you feeling um where the flesh wants to rise up and why do I always have to be the bigger one? But you cannot out ugly, ugly. You can't. We can't. Our nation, our communities, our global community cannot out violence, violence without destroying ourselves in the meantime. And so um, there are areas, as soon as he said that, I, I thought about, <laughs> this is a very, very minor example. Almost doesn't rise to, to the level where I rate to speak about it in this context, but it's the beginning. It don't despise the small things, it's the small things. The little foxes will ruin an entire, okay, so listen. Um, I, 
I sent a text to someone. They did not respond. I sent another text to someone. They did not respond. I saw them later and they acted as if I had not sent them a text. Now, this is a person whose phone is glued to their hips. Simply did not respond. And the next day, so I text, I text, I saw them, crickets, nothing. The next day, they got in and, and was speaking just like, oh, like nothing, just like nothing had transpired the day before. My first reaction was, I wish I would. Mm, I'm not saying a word. And I hope you need something from me. I'm just confessing. I am just putting myself out there on Front Street. That was my first reaction. And ding, 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 ding. Holly, you came out nasty, nasty without being impacted. You came out ugly, ugly without becoming ugly. It came to my mind. And so I reverted. I reversed course very quickly because even though it might have felt good initially to ignore them, they probably weren't even paying attention, but I would be inclined to build that muscle. So when someone taps me, I tap them back. When someone, you know, is ugly to me, I'm going to be ugly back. When you disrespect me, I'm going to disrespect you back. I can't do that and neither can you without becoming what you are fighting against, without becoming what you are railing and being repulsed by. We cannot out ugly, ugly. Love has to win. Thank you, Miss Johnny. Thank you for sharing. Love has to win. It has to win. It does win when we enact it. Even when it is uncomfortable, even when it does not feel good, even when it is it, it's some, maybe even painful. But unless we want to end up like the thing we are fighting against, we've got to remember you can't out bitter bitter. You can't out envy envy. You can't out nasty nasty. And we cannot out violence violence. Something greater has to overtake that. And so um, just like I reversed course, only, I know I only reversed because the Holy Spirit rose up in me and reminded me, you can't out ugly, ugly without becoming ugly. That's not where I'm going. That's not what I want. That gets me no closer to the better version of who I know I'm designed to be. So that's my challenge to you today. I just offer that to you in any lane of your life. If you're going tit for tat, you're not leaving it. Uh, you're not leaving unscathed. I promise you. And hello, Bridget. Hey, my sister. And so um, let's let's rise above that. Thank you for sharing. Let's rise above that. Only something of a greater nature can out um, maneuver, can win. Love wins every time. And that's not being Pollyanna. Love wins. Okay, until next time, take real good care of yourselves. And uh, Ira will be joining me tomorrow again for all of you who so enjoy him, like me. Until next time, take real good care of yourselves.